Hello boys and girls, this is the third installment of the Whitewater Kayaking Guide for Greece. In this video I tell you a bit about the Erimantos. It is not that far from the put out of the Alvios. Drive up towards Teisoa, but before you reach the village turn right and back down to the river and on towards Matesi and from there towards the valley of the Ladon. Here you have to decide where to camp out and which section to tackle. There are three. The last section from Elea down is something for high water levels so I never paddled it. Usually we do the middle section first and then the upper more difficult one. Camping spots are at the put in or put out whereas the one in Vidyaki is one of the most beautiful ones. To get to the put out of the middle section from the Ladon Valley drive to the bridge in Elea either through Choro or Neochoro. For the put in of that section drive up the valley and then on towards Vidyaki and down to the river. To the put in of the upper section stay on that road to Tripotama. Let's have a look at the middle section first. The put in is reached via the village Vidyaki down a precarious gravel road where the river flows through a basin. As the original video material has some water stains, you can check out the uncommented video of this section on YouTube and I will put in some images here. The river flows in wide parts through open valley and small psephile canyons. At medium or low water levels, we had about 5 cubic meters, there are no big difficulties. However, beware of wood in the small canyons. At higher water levels the holes can become sticky and wood becomes a dangerous problem. On our first trip the one knowing the rivers best got water in the eye moving one lens so it became infected. From that point on I took over as the lead of our group. The put-in for the upper section is in the middle of the village Tripotama at the confluence of three creeks. The section from here to Vidyaki can be split in half again. The second part does contain a must-run canyon, so that might not be for everyone. The upper part holds two cataracts that may be runnable for better paddlers, but we portaged both of them on the right side. The put out before the canyon is on the right side on a gravel bank. By car this can be reached when driving from Tripotama to Lambia and at a big yellow sign drive down to the power station. It is very steep and gravelly. To get an even better impression on this upper half, check out my original video with lots more details. The second part starts with a 500 meter long section called foreplay. Even though it's arduous, I recommend to scout it from the right border. Even at low water level this is a solid white water 4 and memorizing the line for 500 meters can be tricky. But getting a feel here is a good idea in preparation for the must run canning that follows immediately. While the difficulties in the canyon are more sedated with a slower section in between versus the fast pace of the foreplay, if you have doubts on this the remainder is not for you. This section can change with every flood so do not take this guide as a way to blindly rush in. This is best demonstrated at this section where a stone block has toppled over. The difficulties in the middle part of the foreplay are a bit easier but they rise again towards the end. 
when the rounded hill on the right side comes into view and the right hand side becomes a cliff you have reached the rock and roll canyon of the Erimantos which was dubbed by Franz Bettinger rock and roll canyon. While the main flow goes to the left on this entry drop it's better to squeeze through on the right. This is also the general rule for the canyon. Take the right side when possible. While it's not impossible to scout in the canyon, you have to be quick and agile. As always with canyons, there is the possibility of wood, like in the roller coaster section later on. As the battery on my GoPro ran out here on our first visit, the remainder is from the second time with considerable less water. As mentioned before, the right round is most often the correct one. Besides wood in the water, falling rocks are another danger, as the same guy with eye trouble on the middle section found out on our second trip. After the last plus 2 meter drop that we took on the left due to stones in the underwater on the right side, the canyon opens up and the landscape reminds more of the middle section. Difficulties are lower, so there are still some drops, so really fun white water. There is one more section worth mentioning, as it can get a bit nasty with higher water pressure pumping through and pressing you against the wall. 